Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today I'll be demonstrating how to make this fun marbled buttercream style cake. I've used a five inch cake, two of them both cut in half, so I have four layers of cake in total and three layers of frosting. I've used my hybrid buttercream frosting in this particular design and I'll have the recipe for this listed in the eye icon up top and in the description box below. Fill in with a small spatula to make it nice and even. And then once it's all been constructed, apply buttercream all on the outside, trap in the crumbs. And this is called a crumb coat. Once it's all nice and covered, you can smooth it out with a frosting scraper. Just make sure it's nice and even before we remove that top raised lip. I like to use a really large spatula for this. I find that it gives me the sharpest edge when it's nice and wide. I'll just drag it towards the middle. Into the fridge she goes for 25 minutes and then apply a second layer of frosting again. This is just in white, you can color it if you like, but it's going to be covered anyway by our marbled buttercream so I'm happy to keep it just uncolored. Smooth it out, fill in any pockets as you go, bring that lip of frosting to the middle and then pop it back into the fridge to set for another 25 minutes. For the marbled buttercream, you will need some uh, pastry sort of acetate sheet. You could use baking paper as well. I've just measured it around the five inch cake tin just to make sure that'll fit around the cake. And then I've taken colored buttercream with a little bit of a teaspoon here and just dunking it onto that acetate in little blobs here and there of color. With my spatula, I'll blend these together. With the spatula, I'll kind of move back and forth, just kind of mashing them into each other. And then when the whole acetate sheet has been covered by spreading it out, I'm going to hold down one side and then pull that spatula across to make it even and neat. You could do this a few times if you like. And then the same for your other side. Lift it up and reposition it. And that way you get nice clean edges and you can see on the other side the pattern that you have created. Take your cake out of the fridge and then gently and carefully wrap the first, as the first acetate strip along the base. Cut off the excess and I've used just a fondant smoother to make sure that it's all stuck on properly. Carefully line up the second sheet with the very top edge of the cake. I like to pull on the acetate sheet firmly as I rotate my turntable and this just makes sure that no air gets trapped in between and it's all nice and snug against the cake. Once applied, you can go over again with your fondant smoother to make sure it's nice and flat and then pop it into your fridge for a few hours or into the freeze if you can for about half an hour until it's completely set. At which point your acetate sheet should come out very easily. At the very end, do be gentle that you don't break off that buttercream. You just want to snap it off gently. And that's it. From here you can add on any other decoration. I purposely left a section blank in the middle because I wanted to add a gold leaf. That's what's going to separate the two halves. And you could use edible gold leaf on your cake. Highly recommend the edible variety. Do not use the craft gold leaf. You're going to poison someone. I'm also adding on some painted edible gold luster dust to highlight where one color begins and ends. I'm not going to do it to every outline, just little pieces here and there for extra kind of pizzazz. You could add vodka to your gold dust to create a paint. And if you can't use vodka or rose water spirit, you can use um, white vinegar or lemon juice. They're very high in acidity and the acidity kind of evaporates. And that's what leaves behind a beautiful um, opaque looking paint. And it's done. That is my take on the marbled buttercream effect. Again, you can use baking paper, but it will show through the crinkle. So acetate would be best for this. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll catch you again in the next one.